Welcome to Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button. Ria and I have set out to circumnavigate our planet in our sailing catamaran Kuru with no sailing experience at all. If you like our content, please hit that little bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. We are going on a field trip today. We have a car for today and um, we just gonna drive around the island a little bit. Who is packing the drone and all the cameras and we hope to find something fun for you to film and to watch later on. And uh, in the evening we go and pick up a good friend from Switzerland. She's arriving in the evening and will stay with us for a few days in Coral. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. And how long can we walk that line? Between the sea and sand How long can we bide our time For dreams we never planned For dreams we never planned When the sky said the winter time Is coming on And you cry to see a shadow babe It's growing long so once again we're walking up the stairs to uh, reach the upper, um, I don't know how you call it, rings of the city, <laughs> which is really cool, leaving the harbor. And uh, we're going where? We're going to uh, UNESCO Natural Heritage, It's I think it's called Esgrau, the closest one, and it's a huge natural um, park. We go check it out with the drone and with everything we have. I turn it all around if I could only hear you say that you were here to It's a natural park on Menorca and um, I just learned this is actually a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve and it's absolutely gorgeous. The Esquirel National Park covers an area of almost 5,000 acres. It consists of mostly wetlands, pine forests, a beach and a lagoon that's being fed by three freshwater torrents. The park is a huge bird sanctuary and was declared as a biosphere reserve by the UNESCO in 1993. Definitely worth a visit. Who and I were just talking about how this walk reminds us of uh, Southern Australia. We, um, back then we, we had a car, a really <laughs> old piece of car <laughs> with all the stuff we owned in it and we were driving around and then we found this, this uh, walk and we started to see all kind of faces in the trees. It was really, really funny and we didn't smoke anything, I swear, but it was like it, it's so, it really reminds me, there is maybe a kangaroo coming out of the trees any moment. The, the trail we just mentioned, the faces we saw, um, just want to give you a little insight. We saw um, ghost faces, we saw um, skulls, we saw dragons, we saw evil masks. I saw some funny, funny stuff too. <laughs> Are you looking for turtles? Tortoise. Tortoise. It's land-based uh, turtles. They have them here. Um, they grow about 20 centimeters in, like, in length. And uh, usually the males are smaller than the females. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not really sure if we see some because it's so steaming hot again that they probably, uh, you know, like hide disappear, yeah, hide in the shade somewhere, so. Mm. Let's hide in the shade as well.
Since we were the temporary owners of a rental car and still felt adventurous, we decided to head back to the harbor and take a peek at Fort Marlboro on the south side of the harbor entrance. We came through rally now on to Gettysburg. It took the British only six years to build the fort, and it owes its name to Sir John Churchill, the Duke of Marlborough, a famous British general at the time. The fort was practically invisible to approaching enemy ships. It is built into the ground and therefore a very effective defense against intruders from the sea. Today, visitors can take an audio tour while walking around the fort. And since we like do stuff on our own, well, we took the tour. I travel in the Ooh. We're doing what we do best, <laughs> or what we do a lot. Uh, we took an audio tour. Um, we found this fort, Fort Marlboro, um, on Menorca, right next to, uh, to the harbor. And uh, it looks pretty cool though. It's very nicely done, but um, we don't know which number we at. <laughs> Maybe we have to walk back. <laughs> This reminds me totally on the park, amusement park we always go in Germany. The last time I write, yeah, I'm nervous, I can lie. And if you don't hear from me, tell my mother it's alright. I'm at the edge of life. When I die It's pretty cool here in the fort at Marlboro. Um, I saw a couple of other people but basically we're alone and it's absolutely gorgeous um, it's really nice to stroll around these old 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 walls and, uh, and learn about the history of it and it's um, it's pretty interesting because I didn't know it was a uh, Muslim uh, country it was uh, English it was Spanish and some other countries which I'm gonna find out and let you know because um, if I would be like one of those conquerors I would want to you know, stay here too. It's very beautiful here. This could be the last time I write. Yeah, I'm nervous. I must really say, this fort is so cool because, I mean, imagine if we would have lived in a time like this and we could sail and, and find new places and I think that was a really cool time to live in. Did you see the cannon behind you? I did. That's, I have. That's what it's they used to shoot at uh, sa approaching sailing boats. I know. What do you say to that? I think that's cool when you come and sail into the harbor and someone shoots at you. That's the pirate life. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what I discovered just now, I mean, I saw, we already saw a lot of batteries like this, like guns and cannons pointing in one direction. Um, but the cool thing about these cannons, I just realized, is that you can actually point them. You have like a, a circle. So this one goes, you know, you can like point over there. You can go this way and point in this direction. And that I never, is really cool. Yeah, I never really, I never really saw that before. That's that's funny. It's weird. But do you think? There is actually something they aimed for on this side, or is that just like they did not really? No, I guess no. But I guess I mean this side. There's the harbor, so nobody really came into this on this side because it's protected. They have uh, cannons and stuff over there. But but here. You know, maybe they just, just came over land and attacked from behind. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Sibyl. 
Oh, our friend from Switzerland. She was my roommate like 11 or 12 years ago when I first moved to Zurich. And does she always, always visit us? She we does wherever <laughs> we go. And that's really cool because she really likes to travel. And um, also the time we spent in New York, uh, she was living in Princeton at that time uh, for work. And then she came over almost every other weekend. Having a barbecue. Are you not gonna sing? No, <laughs> I forgot the words. <laughs> All right, yeah. <laughs> and we're having a barbecue because traditionally in Switzerland we're um, we're barbecuing um, sausages over a fire. And since we're on a boat, we're not gonna have an open fire, but we have our magma grill and um, something like Swiss sausages, but not exactly. But um, it's going to be great. And Sybil is here as well. Hey, Sybil. Hi, guys. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. We, um, we left Port Mahon. We have a rather strong north winds, so we decided to um, stay on the south side of Menorca, which is great um, because in, since the island um, is so flat, the wind um, is, is still like blowing over it, and but we don't have any swell at all, so that's a pretty cool sailing conditions. We're on a beam reach right now and making our way uh, west and uh, find ourselves a sweet Kala to uh, anchor in. Next stop on Sailing Koru. We discover this lovely looking fishing village. The bright white facades of the romantic little houses are reminding us of Santorini in Greece. Looking forward to that next season. We made our way up the coast towards Ciutadella with a quick stopover in a gorgeous bay called San Saura on the south side of the island. We attempt our first landline maneuver, which we handled pretty sweet if you ask me, and we're exploring more of Ciutadella de Menorca. What's happening? Questions, please. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! 